Mike Zulo, you there? Carl, how are you, sir? I, I'm doing great. Listen, we, in this particular segment, we've only got about uh, one minute, literally, so I'm going to hush and let you talk, and then we'll hold you over if you want more time. Go ahead. Well, I just wanted to uh, call back your play because I was listening. Uh, I'm out of state. I was listening to your radio show. and uh, Thank you. you know, I just want to let everybody know that you did talk to me. We've been in contact. Um, this is moving in a direction that was not anticipated by us, and uh, Maricopa County Sheriff's Office is now deeply involved in other aspects of this, and we're working closely together as one team and one unit moving forward on this. I can't give you any specific details. I can tell you this, though, that that whole notion of a Xerox 7655 copier is out the window. Yeah. That is nothing more than another red herring rabbit trail going nowhere, and we will annihilate it when that time comes. Fantastic. Mike, can you stay on for another four or five minutes after the break, or do you need to go? No, I can do that. I can do that. Okay, good. I'll put you on hold because you have tantalized everybody, and we've, we're right up against the break. I know you can't hear the music, but the music's playing, and we do have to take a hard time out. Well, there's Mike Zulo. You just heard him backing my play, so to speak. In other words, what I told you is true. It's accurate. Mike Zulo would be an idiot to call up here and say that. If, if it wasn't, I would be an idiot. So, folks, we're just trying to, to, to help you understand understand that this is huge just be patient be prayerful okay i mean i mean the evidence is mounting up it's overwhelming and it's not just about the birth of all right, Carl Gallup's back with you live on this edition of Freedom Friday. So glad that you're with us. Uh, my guest this afternoon, uh, surprise guest, uh, Mike Zulo. Mike Zulo with the Cold Case Posse, lead investigator. Sheriff Arpaio works with him, of course. Uh, Mike, you still there? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you so much for hanging on during the break because you called up in the middle of the show and tantalized everyone. But I, listen, I do appreciate you getting my back on that because, you know, we are having to be very general and a bit nebulous right now because this thing has gone so much deeper and darker than even, even you and I ever dreamed. But the evidence is mounting. You're getting hard copy, documented mountains of evidence uh, that, that takes this thing in a whole different direction that is just earth shattering, history making, and uh, potentially. And, and and it all started because of your deep investigation into the birth certificate debacle. But, Mike, I, I, I want to ask you something. Now, several months ago, the birth certificate investigation took a turn because the Obots were claiming they had a Xerox machine uh, that was reproducing the anomalies, and therefore your entire investigation should just be flushed down the toilet. And you and I both smelled a rat. I'm going to let you talk about it, but we both smelled smelled a rat because, I mean, that was awfully convenient that five years later, at just the right time, they supposedly had discovered the machine that did the thing. But you've got something to say about that. Go ahead. Well, I mean, you know, that's a nice fairy tale that they're outlaying. You know, you've got a couple meatballs on the other side that keep throwing this kind of garbage out, and it's just uh, another tactic to, you know, just throw people another bone to gnaw on and throw doubt into this equation and make everybody think that these three guys have the answer to one of the biggest dilemmas to face a presidency in this nation's history. Right. Well, the fact is, is they don't. They don't know what we know. They don't know what we have. And I am going to tell you, and I'm telling you now, just like I have in the past, that is a fallacy, what they are telling you about this copy machine. It does not remedy the situation. Right. Far from remedying the situation. As a matter of fact, that whole little ploy is more nefarious than you could imagine. I, 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 I know. And, and listen, and you said they don't know what we know, they don't know what we have, and that's what's killing them. And that's, that's why I think, now you, you, know, you, you may not want to address this because you're dealing at it from the criminal angle, I'm dealing at it from a media angle, but I, in my opinion, uh, that's why they threw up that whole smoke screen. I think to try to smoke you out and to smoke, that, they think that I know a lot, so they're trying to smoke me out, trying to smoke you out as to what we know and, and to where we would go with this. But, uh, but as you've just said, you guys have proven, I, I'm going to use the term 1,000%, that the, 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 the Xerox machine just doesn't cut it and, and, and the document is a fraud, right? Right, and you know, to add to that point, Carl, this is one of the people in that group 
is the same individual that tried to lodge a phony complaint against me for threatening them on a telephone. Right. So the, the conversation that you heard. Right. I mean, this is where these guys are going. Right. I, I pay no mind to them. They are completely irrelevant, like you have said in the past. Right. They are nothing more than a distraction. Right. They are a waste of time and energy. And all this nonsense they're writing down about this Xerox machine, they're wasting a lot of trees and a lot of ink. Right. Especially knowing what you now know, especially uh, the direction this investigation has turned, a kind of, I know, I know it's all connected to the birth certificate, but now the information that's piling in has turned kind of away from that, and it's, it's almost like people knew that that was out there and they were trying to desperately keep you away from it and keep you busy on the birth certificate, and kaboom, you, you know, your, your, your crack investigation skills and RPIO and everybody that's around you has opened this thing up, and it's, and it's wide open now, right? It is, and, um, you know, I, I, like I said, I can't go into what this I is, know. but I can tell you that the magnitude is so great that Sheriff Arpaio has allotted resources from the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. Wow. Um, wow. He is, he is fully invested in this, and I don't think, uh, I don't think I've been home, uh, more than two days all this month. I know, I know. You went out for a three hour meeting and you've been there a month. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bad, that's exactly what it turned into. I know, I know. Well, that's what I opened my show with. I told him that. I said, yeah, he went out there for a three-hour meeting, and he's been he's been there a month now, and and you've been several places, and we're not going to give away where you are or where you've been. Uh, but uh, but but this thing has just it just just blown into a monumental thing. Well, Mike, it was a special treat for me to have you on. And number one, I always enjoy having you on. And uh, number two, uh, a surprise. I had no idea you were even listening or even able to listen, and much much less that you would call in, but thank you for confirming what I'm trying to tell my radio audience. And listen, 98% of my audience knows and trusts me, but you know, we've got those, we've got the Obots listening, and we've got the detractors out there listening, and, and they're always ready to say, well, uh, you know, Gallops, you're just over-dramatizing this, and this is just, you're trying to soup it up and sensationalize it so you'll get more listeners. I, I don't give a rip about listeners, folks. I don't do this for a living. I do this because I'm a patriot, and, and, and I love what I do, uh, but uh, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to over-dramatize something, not on purpose, but Mike Zulo, you called to say that what I'm telling them is nebulous and, 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 and around the edges as it is right now, what I'm telling them is, is absolute truth, correct? <laughs> it is absolute truth, and I'm going to add one other thing, Carl. You know, these guys out there that are throwing up these smoke screens, they're not going to defeat the trained investigators of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, that's right. They're not going to pull the wool over their eyes. They can go throw that stuff out there in the public arena all they want. It's not going to cut it with them. Yeah, I agree. And I, I think they're being awfully, awfully foolish. But it, it, by the time all the smoke settles and uh, all of this stuff comes out, um, people will know uh, that, that this is what you're involved in. I, let me just ask you this. You, you do uh, perceive of the time and the day, uh, the day coming when you will be able to come forward either on Freedom Friday or P.P. Simmons or somewhere probably on Fox News. <laughs> and, but you'll be able to come forward and say, this is what we've been talking about. Here it is. You, you perceive that that day will come? I think that day, and I pray that day will come, and I, I do believe it's going to come, and I am going to tell you, and you could take this show and play it in the future, that when this information is finally exposed to the public, it will be universe shattering. Yeah, yeah. This I... is beyond the pale of anything you could imagine. Well, the little bit that I know completely rocks my world. And and you've been telling me here lately that now there's more that this that that puts that on steroids. So I, I'm I'm anxiously looking forward to the day you can come out with it all. I am. And uh, you know, Carl, it wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for Sheriff Arpaio and his dedication. Yeah. To the issue, because the man knows in his gut something's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's because of Sheriff Arpaio that this is even happening. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing, Mike. Well, listen, we've got to go. Is there anything else you want to share before I? I no, I, I really. The, the less I say now, the better. Bro. Yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> you're right. We've we've both had to. I mean, there's been several times while I'm talking to you, I've had to pause and kind of bite my tongue just a little bit and make sure I use the exact correct words because we don't want to give uh, the the Obots uh, any any inkling of where you're going with this. But thank you for for backing my play. Thank you for for uh, backing my integrity today. God bless you. God bless you too, Carl. You have a great day. Okay, you as well, Mike. Well, folks, that was uh, that was uh, Mike Zulo, and you heard it right from him. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. <laughs>